Okay, I have the uh, cable connected to my router. You just your standard Linksys uh, router uh, that you would use a wireless router. I uh, just hooked into the computer system that I have here. Okay, so we've got the uh, cable run down from our router up above, as, as we saw in the last clip. Now we're going to plug it into our printer. Uh, this is the E1, and it's uh, the, the standard uh, Elfin SoJet printer. Uh, you have an E6, uh, an E2, whatever. It kind of follows the same way, except you're going to use the controller, and on the bottom of the controller is all the, the, the connections. Uh, we're going to be connecting in just to the Ethernet port right here. Like I said, on the other machines, they're, they're in the bottom. There's a little plug here. You can just pull the plug out, take your Ethernet, plug it in, and that's as simple as it is to hook up. Um, we're going to turn the power on for the printer on the bottom. Uh, Every one's a little bit different, but uh, the E6, I believe, has the power on the bottom as well. So we're just going to... Uh, oh, sorry. Let's put some power onto it first. There's the power is in. And now uh, we'll turn the power on. You can see it's glowing blue. And then we'll just let that start up. Um, the printers are going to be, in some cases, have uh, an IP address already built in. Uh, or you can you can adjust it to what you want it to be, or you can just put it on automatic. I put it on automatic because it just seems to pick up whatever it is that you're doing really easily. Uh, where you can find that, now that it's hooked up, you'll see that I have a icon down here, and it uh, shows a little globe, and it's green. Uh, that's just telling you that you're hooked into an Ethernet or into a, a network. Uh, by pressing on that little button there, you'll now see the screen come up here and it actually says on here DHCP and fixed IP. I use DHCP because it's automatic, you don't have to really fiddle with too much, it'll figure out what your uh, settings are on your router and then it'll it'll give you an address that is compatible with your router. Uh, if you if it doesn't work that way you can always find out what your router is. Most routers are, are 192.168 and usually it's .1.1 that's uh, a lot of them are, are that unless somebody in your IT department has set it up differently uh, that's typically what it is. And you'll see down here the gateway, which is your router, is is that's already set in there. Uh, this one here has an address of 145. This particular machine, uh, that's how it, that's how it's being dealt with through the automatic part of it. If I go to a fixed IP, I can now set it to anything I want to in there, and you can enter it in, and then it can be seen on your on your PC relatively easily. Uh, once you know those settings, and that's just an IT guide to tell you that in your department, uh, in your IT department, he can he can tell you what the settings will be to make that red. Uh, but for every home based or or small business or whatever, just using the DHCP should give you the automatic uh, that you want. And then you just click on OK or cancel depending on what it is. You'll see the screen is just your standard uh, uh, startup screen. We'll now go to the PC here. And on the PC, I'm going to start the software. You can see right up here, this is the software SoJet. It just looks like, I don't know, I don't even know what that is. It looks like a pen or a pencil or something or a marker. Uh, anyways, down here we have it. Just, we'll highlight that. Bring it up. I can make that full screen if I like. And there's a full screen. Very easy to see. Uh, everything that we do. Uh, you're going to notice right now that uh, on the left side over here, there's a number of icons. Uh, the icons that you're looking for right now to connect up uh, by Ethernet I uh, is to go down here to, first of all, PC Setup. So we're going to go to PC Setup first. And you're going to see here, it's, there's nothing on the screen other than choosing what your printer is. Right now it says EV2. Uh, if you have an EV2, that's what you'd set it to. If you have an EV6 uh, or an E6 printer, uh, that would be the, the, the E6 is what you would use. And I believe that is uh, what we're talking about today. Uh, I This is an E1. So I'm going to change that to E1. Just keep clicking. It's only three set, three uh, options, E1, E2, and E6. And then you go down here to Save. So we we'll click on Save. It says Set Succeed. That's their way of saying good, go. <laughs> um, and so now we have that. Over on the left here, under PC Setup, you're going to go right above it to Connect. And now we're going to hit the Connect button. You're going to notice that our device is already showing up here in this left side here it says device connect you don't have to worry about the database links that's something completely different uh, just the device connect is all we have to worry about here and uh, up here I make sure it's direct because you're just going to go direct in we're not going through uh, internet and all that kind of stuff uh, although I suppose you could to some degree but um, 
In this particular case, we'll just go direct. Uh, uh, and you'll find the device right here. Down at the bottom, you have a connect and a disconnect. By pressing on connect, it's now bringing files from, from your PC and putting them in your printer and from your printer into your PC and they're kind of just synchronizing everything together. Uh, once all that stuff stops, we're done. So now I can go up here to files and you'll see that these are the files that currently are inside this printer right now. Uh, there's only two other files that are in there. Uh, we have a string test and a, a, there's your standard message uh, that comes with every SoJet. Uh, that's uh, pretty much how to hook it up. Once you're into this box, if you notice down here on the screen here, it says this device is under control. So that renders this screen pretty much useless at this point. There's nothing you're going to do here. Everything you're going to do is going to be up top over here, including sending messages and whatever else. So let's just say right now that message one is what would be printing in here. I'll just uh, do a quick um, Insert of a cartridge here. I don't even know how well it's going to work, but uh, standard cartridge. And I'll grab a piece of paper. There we go. Okay, we got a little green icon up here telling me that the cartridge is working and it's installed and it's good. I'm going to grab a, excuse me piece of paper here and uh, that's the inkjet one so at this particular point you would go up to print and your standard print screen comes up as well and down here at the left it says start print so I'm going to click on start print it says waiting for device start print it's now speaking to the device and entering in the message and getting it ready to go you'll notice down here as well it says this device under control, but you'll see in the background now the message that we were just wanting to get printed. And there it sits. Oh, there you go. There's your print. I didn't have to turn it on at all or do anything with it. It just simply started on by itself because through the remote control from your PC. I can go down here and hit stop print. Once I do that, it's not communicating to the printer, it's shutting it down. And now I can choose a different message up here. Uh, we'll just do a strings test or something like that. We're going to talk about that one a little bit later. And then we hit start print. And off that one goes. Now you can see on the screen down here, it actually you can see it in the background. That That's the one that's running. And I'll just wipe this by the printhead. Let's go the other way. And there's your print there. Same as what you see up on the screen. And that is it for networking. That's basically everything that you want to do uh, through networking. Uh, one of the interesting things I guess in here as well is that you'll notice that while we're in this screen, uh, this is your print screen that you would normally be seeing as it's under running. Down in the bottom right here is a print delay. And now I click on that. I can set the print head delay on this particular one. Let's just say I want to set it for three inches. Uh, and I can click on OK. And now the delay has just changed on the printer itself. And we've now set ourselves up for the print that we that we want three delay or three inch delay going into it. Uh, you'll notice that if I stop the print here. And if I go to a different message, let's go back to the standard, the uh, the, the standard message that comes with all, with the printer. It's always in every printer. This is the one, the default message that comes from SoJet. If you go in there and you look at the print delay for that message, it's always 1.2. That's their standard uh, distance is 1.2 at all times. So we're ready to print that. If I hit start print, it's now going to load that into the screen. You can see it happening here. The screen just changed and there's some other stuff going on, so it's talking to it. It's ready to go right now, so I could be printing that. Uh, now if I stop the print here, <clears throat> and we go back up here to this, this message. I'm going to choose that message again, the same one with the, the chocolate chips. Um, we're gonna go, I'm going to go down here and press print delay, and you'll notice it's three inches. 
So the delay is uh, it's saved with the message. So when you choose any message up here and you set up a delay, that delay gets set with that message. So you never have to keep changing delays all the time if you're using the same message over and over, but yet you want to use uh, some different data or something like that in it. Okay. Uh, hopefully that helps you out with the networking portion of it. Uh, we'll go into uh, 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 some other things later on, uh, more details of other, of other features. Thank you.